So welcome back to a very chilly day on the homestead. We woke up this morning. Guess how cold it was? 12 degrees. 12 degrees. I talked to my sister, Fresh P, or Mrs. W did, and she uh, has lost a bunch of her trees. She went and pruned. She thought spring was here. She rolled the dice, and that happens. Anything can happen up here in the mountains. So I've got a real fun video for you. I've got a, a really interesting project that um, I'm excited to share. But first off, um, I wanted to share with you just a quick, some quick clips uh, from uh, Jack and, and Jaden and I, one of Jack's friends, um, an amazing place that we found um, to dirt bike, a north of uh, south of here about 40 minutes uh, we had a great day i just shot a couple of, of a little bit of footage for my cell phone but i'll roll that in right now all right tyler and jack and i were out for a really nice ride today we have found a good trail what do you think jack how yeah. was that hill climb uh muddy that was a little gnarly wasn't it yeah how'd you do good so i see you've got some damage yeah. you bent up your foot peg mm -hmm. i'll bet we can fix that it still it still works but not, yeah. not my foot peg my uh my brake or your brake. Yeah. Let's fix that. So why you always bring tools on a ride? Because I've never been on a ride where this didn't happen. Let's see if the old Nipex will or fix our problem here. So what happened here? How do you do that? A rock? I think we can. We can fix that. Oh, that's gonna be a little bit better. Did it bend forward too? Looks like it did. Uh, maybe it bent over my foot peg, which is gonna have a problem. Yeah, we got it bent. I got it bent that way. Let's see if we can. You got it needs to go for this way too, doesn't it? Yeah. You hold your bike there, Tyler. How far? Probably a little bit more than that. No, that looks good. I think it looks it, about yeah. the same as mine. I think it yeah. needs to go a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, we can ride now. These are awesome. I just got these. One of the guys on the forums uh, said he was packing these in his bag. It's a seven inch piece, seven inch Nipex. They're the German ones. Uh, adjustable wrench on plier type of things. Oh, nice. I, Isn't that cool? I thought you said you didn't like forums. I don't, but that's where the, sometimes that's where the information is. A bit. You guys need to learn how to do this on your own. Why don't you start it up? Use the power of the bike to help you it's up with that road. All right. Brake. Work together. Go ahead and I start it up. The start it up, Tyler. All right. So see this route right here. That's running at an angle, that's really gonna be hard to cross. So what you might do is pick it right here. Can you get up right through there or hit it right there? Yeah, Jeff, can you put that in your pocket? What is it? It's, it's the, the end brake. of his brake. Oh, your shift lever? Yeah. How did you end brake a lot of things? Well, it just fell off. If that's all you break, that's pretty good. Yeah. The gloves right here happen. All right, give it a shot right here, Tyler. Hit your kick kicks, Dan. I know, I have to get started. Okay. First or second? First gear. Keep it rolling. Alright, here we go. Ready? There we go. Good job. All right, get out of the way there, Tyler. All right, Jack, you're up. Nice. Kickstand down and everything. Huh? Don't forget your kickstand. Oh, wow. Nice job. Go, man, go. Here comes Jack. My gosh, I can't believe we get to live in such a beautiful place. Go, Jack! Look at this. It just goes on forever. 
We just got back from the most epic ride. How many hours do we ride, guys? Four and a half. Four and a half hours, and the boys are cached. Well, you... I am. I'm not sure about Tyler. <laughs> so I told them, I was it's like, we're only going to do the green trails, and then we went up to the blue intermediates, and then what did we do? Then we went on a black one, which me and Tyler regretted. We did a triple, a, or a three black diamond. It, it was pretty gnarly. Mm -hmm. Rock <laughs> Three separate black diamonds. Are you are you tired, Jack? Yes. How about you, Tyler? How you doing? You guys get off the pegs a little bit and you'll feel a lot I better. Do. All right, we're going out for pizza now. As soon as we get, you guys are gonna load these bikes up for me, right? Uh, we might need some help. I don't think yet. All right, let's uh let's have a uh, uh something to drink and then we'll head on down. All right, you guys ready? Oh, wait, wait. special drink. Me? Sure. Yeah? Don't tell your dad about you a soda. Wait, doesn't he wash the hands? <laughs> Alright, so we got uh, Orange Crush, Fanta for Tyler, Sprite for Jack. How is it? We just cover the brand, it's obviously water. Don't tell your mother about that. Oh man, not another dirt bike video. That's right, there's a dirt bike video, but I think you're gonna find this interesting. For the very, here's the thing. I, I think it's fascinating how uh, technologies and, and tools are, and things are adapted for different regions. Uh, you, can, you could sell something on the East Coast, you could sell the same thing on the West Coast, and, and how it's adapted and how the, uh, it's appropriated for different jobs and, and how it evolves, is, I think is really fascinating. And this is a perfect example of that right here. So, I'm sorry to say right off the bat, I know those of you guys who ride are gonna ask about this. Do you see this beautiful little billet aluminum piece? What that is, is that that is a perch, it's a custom made perch for a second handle, uh, a clutch handle. Uh, I told you earlier that I was gonna move the brake handle off of the, or the brake switch off the foot, which is kind of, in this area, it's really a poor system. It doesn't work very well. When we ride in the mountains, sometimes we'll have, you know, mile and a half downhills through nasty scree fields, and trying to modulate a rear brake on a foot and throwing your balance off, it's, it's really terrible. There is a place for that, and maybe some motocross or supercross and stuff, but it does not apply to us here. It doesn't, it's just, it's just a bad way. It's an old fashioned way of doing it. This is far superior. So however, the last time I did this, I, I got rid of the clutch altogether because I, as I said, I'm running a recluse auto clutch, but I don't want to give the clutch up completely. I still want to have it to clear out the engine. I want to have it to be able to pull in. Uh, if I want to bring the wheel up over a big obstacle, it's just too much sacrifice uh, to give it up. So we needed to come up with an option and which is which I found. Unfortunately, I can't tell you who makes this right here. There's a local guy uh, who is a, he's a wizard. He's a wizard. He only works on 300s. He builds um, um, uh, um, dirt bikes, old, the ultimate wood bikes for this area for you know, pro riders, for Red Bull guys. And he has come up with this, which he has patented. Um, and he asked me not to uh, not to, he, he, he's retired. He just doesn't want the aggravation. He doesn't, he just wants to work with local guys. Um, but he, I bought this from him and it is fabulous. Look how cool that is. So what this allows us to do right here, uh, is to have a double, uh, a lever setup right here. 
We've taken the rear brake off the bottom. I'll show you here in a minute, off the foot. We've put it up here on a nice um, Magura um, or Brembo. I got a mix Magura and Brembo master cylinder hydraulic. Move the clutch up here on top. And so now we can adjust this to our riding style and we can have both. We're going to primarily down here, but when we want to grab the clutch. We can move our hand up and do that. I mean, it's absolutely a beautiful, elegant setup um, that I can't wait to get going. So uh, let me bring you over here. Uh, I'll show you what uh, is going on on the bottom side. So briefly, just to, for those who aren't really familiar with this, now the traditional brake, right, uh, for for any motorcycle is, is a foot brake, right? It's fit in there very good, but you get the idea. Um, and it uh, it hinges off of here like this, and, and you step on it and, and you know apply the rear brake. So uh, precision, uh, precise, not not so much because you're wearing these big heavy uh, dirt bikes. Imagine wearing ski boots and ha and having fine motor skills uh, while you know going down the face of some cliffs <laughs> somewhere like that you know so it's, it's really challenging uh, so uh, the handbrake of course is a better option we become natural to that those of us who are from mountain biking backgrounds you can modulate it you can run it with one finger uh, you can ride fast you can come into corners rather than having to shift your weight um, off the peg off the balls of your feet to step forward find the clutch you can just drag that clutch and go into the corner and power or the brake and power out um, lots of arguments to be made for it I've ran it before and I really like it everyone around here is running it as well um, so that's why all of this stuff came off. Cool part is uh, KTM or Husqvarna offers a, a, a factory option, factory kit with the line. So it's just bolt on, it's basically a bolt on kit. I got a master cylinder for the top. I got a line that was all cut to fit, stainless steel braided with a banjo fitting that goes to the back. And it's, it's, it's a factory look, it's a really nice option. So what we have to do now is bleed this and I'll show you how I'm doing that. Sorry for the shake there. I'm gonna take you off tripod. I got a couple things I wanna show you. So th this is the bleeder right there. And what, uh, what is the, I guess is the new in vogue method is to bleed from uh, the bottom uh, using pressure. So this is just a piece of clear tubing. I've got it uh, hooked on there, just like your brakes on your car. You know, you loosen it right there and then we'll force the fluid. I got a zip tie on there. So when we put it under pressure that it doesn't pop off and make a big mess, but we'll force this fluid here in the tube out and I'm going to just be using compressed air. A syringe would be better, but I don't have a syringe. So, so we're going to use compressed air. I've let that sit uh, full of fluid uh, for an hour here or so to drain all the, all the bubbles that come out of it. I bent a nail there to hold that up. And so the idea is that we're going to force that air, force that fluid down through the brake line, which comes up right here into the master cylinder, right? Oh, focus, focus right there, uh, pushing all the air out of it. I don't often wear nitrite gloves, but I do when I deal with brake fluid. It, I hate the feeling of brake fluid on my hands. It's this caustic, awful feeling. You know, it would be like my torment, like Sisyphus, you know, he had to roll the rock. My, my eternal worst torment would be having brake fluid on my hands for eternity. I'm having a premonition of things gone wrong here. I, w I probably wish that I would have <laughs> went to the, to the feed store and bought a couple of syringes, but okay, here we go. We're gonna try it. So what I'm gonna do is we'll, uh, we'll just I'll force a little bit of air in there. Um, just, and I'll push that fluid. Oh, that's too much air, too much, easy, easy, easy. Just very slowly, I'm gonna push that fluid through. Oh, it's working, it's going down. That's good, that's what we wanted. Got, an, got all the air out of there. These are uh, diff different uh, brake handles than uh, stock there. What are these, Midwest, Mi Midwest Mountaineering? They, um, the way that they're designed that they pull uh, twice as hard with half the movement. So they, you can modulate them a lot better with one finger. Having one finger on the brake is nice because then you got four hanging on to the, <laughs> onto the bike. Uh, so if it gets really gnarly, you can go with two, but those are a lot more robust. Now we, we got to take out some of that uh, brake fluid here. So I just use a little, I got this little old antifreeze squeeze bottle and there's a little line in there. You can see it right there. It's about good. And then we can put the lid on it. And then we can set up the, uh, to do the cool part there, we can set up the, the clutch handle. Oops, that was, I didn't take out enough. A very interesting question came up in the comments last week about torques. Is torques metric or standard? I was gonna, I was meaning to look that up and find out. I don't know, what, what are those numbers? What is the T45 or a T20 or T15? Is that metric or standard? Any of you engineer types in the comments, let us know what the, where that uh, came from and what that means. 
Gotta cover up the name there. Sorry guys. All right, check that out. How, that's gonna, that's a game changer right there. That is gonna be nice. I got everything adjusted. Um, so right here, so now I can ride a uh, one finger like a mountain bike and control that rear brake. And then when I need the clutch, I can come up here and I can pull in the clutch. Having an auto clutch, uh, I don't really need this. This is just uh, for, as I said, clearing out the engine. And sometimes it's nice to, it's just nice to have. I hate to give it up like I did on my first bike, but that is, that is a business. I'm not gonna Loctite anything yet until I, I ride it and make sure that I've got all of the, the angle set. But I think that the learning curve on that is gonna be quite simple, quite quick. And um, yeah, that is, that is the way to go. Okay, so what's next? So uh, next thing is, so it came with these, um, these little uh, plastic covers here. They, they call these, uh, I think they call them roof shields or guards. When you're riding with other guys, they'll they take off, they'll throw big rocks at you. So you wanna be all, all covered, covered up and that protects your hands. Problem with these in, in our area is we're riding through the trees. And, and I was, when Jack and I went riding, uh, the other day, uh, it makes me really nervous as you, you know, you're going 25, 30 miles an hour through the forest and these trees woo, 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 like this, if you to, to go off the trail and to hit one, you destroy your hands. And, and that's, a, that's a huge problem. So uh, coming up, I won't have it until Thursday when I'm putting everything together. Um, well, got Bob, the guy that uh, invented this double brake deal here, um, he has got an awesome front, basically an armor setup. It's a will thread the bars um, and put inserts into them and, and these reinforced big heavy it'll just be a full wrap aluminum uh, protective uh, shield on there with the roost guards uh, to protect those hands uh, from any impacts or anything like that so I'm waiting on that so I'm going to take the factory ones off here we'll get rid of those um, the nice thing about this setup right here is uh, you know it's hard to it's kind of hard to justify the bike works as it is, right, from the factory. Um, but um, all of this stuff is uh, you can take with you. So yeah, you're gonna spend a few hundred dollars on, on getting the brake set up you like it, but if it helps your riding and it makes it much more enjoyable when you go out for the day, uh, it's worth it. And the nice thing about it is this will all come off the whole handlebar setup on the next bike. Um, and you'll be able to reuse it and reuse it and reuse it. So, so that's the way I kind of look at it. Uh, save everything. I'll save everything in plastic bags. And when, when it's time for the bike to go, then put it all back on factory. And then you can take these things with you. But that is, uh, that is pretty, pretty cool. I'm really happy with that. I don't have the matching lever on the right side here for the front brake because they don't make them yet for the, uh, what are these, the Maguras. Um, they should be out, I should, or I haven't been able to get them, but I should have one um, in a week or two. They are on the way, so we'll have the, those three levers matching. And then we don't have to worry about broken levers anymore because these are super, super robust. All right, let's move on to the next project.